Uh, good day everyone, my name is David, the CEO of Headwear Form Business Company, the number one ranking in that, this simulation game. And our slogan is on the shipping the future. And the reason why we chose shipping the future is because we want to have impact in this technology world. We have the chairman, which is myself, David. We have the managing director, Yusuf. The woman with sources we have from um, Kirandi, executive director Hadimola, the marketing officer we have Kania. Vision Futures. For our vision futures, we have connecting the world, shaping the future of technology, creating great products. And the reason why we chose this is because we want to help to connect with the world by using top notch technology, focusing on good quality. The country will penetrate. Um, for the first year uh, to 2023, we were at the UK, which is our headquarters. Um, in 2024, we moved to Germany. 2025, we entered the um, USA. And 2026, we moved to China. And our main focus and um, the strategic plan is um, the highest quality. The reason why we chose high quality is because we, we know that people can afford uh, when they have a good quality and that's why we, we were able to stay in the UK for 30 years. So in 2021 to 2023, we moved to, uh, we stay at the UK, so we still maintain our high quality and also the price and brand image with a good customer intimacy. We make sure we maintain the customer intimacy during that three years. But in 2024, we moved to uh, Germany. Um, 2025, we moved to USA. And 2026, we moved to uh, China. We still maintain our highest quality and we offer affordable price in the market. The source analysis. Um, the strength is product quality, top-notch technology, excellent delivery service. While the weakness is high price product, um, the opportunity is the you know, third largest country in the EU, which is the UK, and higher demand, more and also mobile industry advertising. For the threat, we have government policy, a price war, higher competitor. My name is Odwala Ganyad and I'll be talking about the marketing report for Edwell Mobile from 2021 to 2026. Edwell developed its market through sales of mobile phones and, and entered four new countries for its operations in UK, Germany, US and China. Edwell adopted a marketing campaign throughout its year of operations. The marketing campaign that was adopted was the brand awareness. The reason behind this decision was because we wanted our consumers to know about the quality of our products in which we sell. In the first year of operation in the UK market, we sold our smartphone for 650 each and no price was no sales was generated in terms of the price of the product, but sales was made in terms of the quality of the product of about 400,000. And in terms of customer intimacy, we made a sales of 393,573. We extended our operation in the UK market in the following year because we got a feedback from our consumers in the previous year concerning the reliability of our product. So we extended our stay in the UK market for the next two years. In this year, we, we, we made a sales of 706,300 in terms of quality. And in terms of customer intimacy, Edwin made a sales of 402,995. In the last year of operation in this market segment, which is the UK market, we made a sales in terms of our quality of, we made a sales of about 610,149 in terms of the quality of the product. And in terms of the customer intimacy, a sales of 460,300 was made. Edwe expanded into the Germany market in the year 2024 because we wanted increments in the sales of the product. 
And in this market, we sold our smartphone for 600 each, of which we made no sales from the price of the product. And in terms of the quality of the product, we made over 1 million, 1 million in this market segment. And in terms of the customer intimacy, Edwin made its sales of 983,503. We, we further expanded into the USA market, of which we sold our smartphone for 700 each. No sales was made from the price of the product. We generated about 1 million naira in terms of the quality of the product. And in terms of the customer intimacy, we generated a sales of 643,501. We expanded to the China markets, which was the last day of the operation in 2026, which our smartphone was sold for 800, and we made no sales from price of the products. And the, in terms of quality of the products, Edwin made a sales of 952,323. And in terms of the customer intimacy, we made a sales of no, we, we made no sales in terms of customer intimacy in this market segment. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ademola Oni, the financial officer of Edwards Company. Today I'm presenting the financial position of the company over the years of operation. The statements I will be presenting include the statement of financial position, the income statement, and the cash flow statement. I will start with the statement of financial position, also known as the balance sheet. This statement contains the assets, liability, and equity of a business. That is what the business own and what they owe. The statement includes the resources, obligation, and ownership of a business. In presenting the financial statements of a business, we look at the value of the business. Every business wants to make sure that the value is growing over time. And the value of a business is the equity. For Edwards Company, we are able to grow our equity. Our equity at the end of the first year of operation was 500 million. But at the end of the sixth year of operation, we were able to grow our equity to 3 billion. The graph, this, this is the graph to our show the, uh, the the trend of the increase of our on our equity over the years of operation. The second statement I'll be presenting is the income statement. The income statement is also called the statement of profit or loss. This statement shows the revenue, expense, and net income or loss of a, of a business. Under this statement, we'll be looking at the gross profit and the retained earnings. The gross profit is what a business have after they have deducted all costs related to sales, while the retained earnings is what a company has after they have deducted all operating expenses and all dividends that be paid to the shareholders. In this statement, we check if there is a corresponding growth in gross profit and retained earnings. For the first three years of operation, we are developing our period, so we had little or no growth. For the first year of operation in the UK, when we launched our product, at the end of the first year, we conducted a survey from our customer and the response we got was that the customer were complaining about the quality. So we invested in research and development to develop our period, our product for the first three years in UK. For the after the third year, we moved to Germany. In Germany, we had a good percentage of growth in our gross profit and retained earnings. Likewise, the, the fifth year in the United States of America. And the sixth year, the growth we had in Germany and United States of America was more than what we had in the sixth year. That's the that's in the Chinese in the Chinese market. The reason was because we only um, based our strategy on the population. We did not make research about the lifestyle 
of the China Chinese market. At the end of the, 20, the sixth year, we realized that the Chinese market is conscious about price. They, are, they don't bother about the quality of the product. All they, are, all they bother about is the price of the product. So we had a lot of product in store, but couldn't say we only made minimal sales. That's why we had a little, that's why we do not, well, that's why our growth and the gross profit and retain any in, in Chinese market cannot be compared to that of the German, Germany market and United States of America. The cash flow statement. The cash flow statement of any business shows the revenue generated and now the money investments. For Edwards company, we spent on investing activities, operating activities, and financing activities. Like we've discussed in other statements, the first three years of operations was a struggling period of the business. That this was this was a period of investment, so we expected little or no profit. But after the first three years, moving to another country. Our, our profit and net income started to grow. But we've, as we discussed also in another statement, we expected a double of what we had in 2025 in 2026. But because of the nature of the country we moved into, where we are unable to make enough profit in that business. So going forward, in order to avoid the mistake we made in entering the Chinese market, we will invest more invisibility study to analyze the markets we are going to in order to have a large market share. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kiran Deepkar, HR manager of uh, Hackway Company. Here, I would like to uh, discuss my HR strategies to run this company. So firstly, I focused on maximum work uh, load per employee as uh, it is very important to do because if the value is surpassed, then uh, definitely self-employed uh, will be hired automatically to help bring the workload back your chosen value. On that, we spent uh, 8,500,000 euro, and uh, I personally consider that uh, this is not as productive as regular employees. Uh, moreover, we have 90 full-time employees, um, so how uh, so who have a responsibility of all global orders and the shipments. Uh, at the same time, we have ability to increase uh, the team per per year with a maximum of 25 employees. As far as my concern is with um, uh, human capital management that needs to be purchased with uh, in my company, which cost is 1,500,000 uh, euro. Although it is quite expensive, but uh, it uh, takes care of supporting all the HR processes as well as increase the loyalty and productivity of employees. And the next one is that the bonus that um, my company and I personally believe, believe that uh, it this is the best way to motivate the uh, workers employees uh, in the company. So we have a um, um, we had a training budget per employee on which we spent 10,000 euro as well as 0.3 FTE to boost their personal development. Uh, we had a coaching and mentors program that uh, had no any cost because uh, this program senior staff shared their experience with new and junior employees. Uh, furthermore, compliance is to make sure about the local laws and the company policy. And the second one is uh, social media, which teaches to employ that how to use it in the different nations and all around the world. These all have different cost. That is 750 euro for social media and for the compliance, its cost is 500 euro and uh, privacy and the data um, leaks is uh, for it. Uh, 850 uh, euro. Um, we all know that uh, data leaks can be detrimental. So in this program, our staff will learn how to prevent data leaks and uh, how to deal with them uh, if um, if it happens. Uh, last but not least, our recruitment budget is 7,500,000 um, uh, euro, and the cost of hiring a new employee is uh, 1 million. 
Hello everyone, good morning. My name is Yusuf. I am the managing director of Edwin Companies and I'm the in, I'm in charge of the management and operations of the company. Talking about our business plan, we starting from the year we choose our financial target to be to achieve a net profit of 8 million euros at the end of the year and our solvency to be 80% at the end of the year. For, for the first year, which was 2021, our KPI was the our um, service was the KPI at that time. Then for our for our customers, we also set the target to be number one in highest quality, and also to be number one in quality segment when it comes to uh, the market leader. Then internal target was also set, like um to we the our internal target was to employ to motivate our employees 100% because this will also help us in um, sales and revenue. Our management focus via CSR, mix management, global marketing and market and market analysis. For the CSR, the managers are to focus on reducing the company's carbon footprint. This was good for the environment as well as the company's image. For the risk management, managing risks ensures our company's safety. In addition, it created trust for um, providing uh, for in providers of capitals and resulted in lower interest rates for new loans. However, we didn't apply for a new loan because after 2022, we make a lot of sales and add enough profit that we didn't have to apply for any new loan. Global marketing. Our management dive delves into aspect of global marketing communication. This attention strengthened the effect effectiveness of the global marketing communication. The marketing analysis, focusing on data of quality, allow us better to analyze the market and competitors like the LE and Tele. Their names become visible in the analysis on market sector. So we we're able to see and know how they were doing and which area they were active in different segments. Our company also invested in research and development in the area of increase in R&D department. This all this improved our process, the process and better product and um, new features because we allocated higher budget and higher more researchers, which increased the speed at which they finish their research project. Also, in R and D research project, the it led to um, to us we were able to unlock seven stars because it increased the quality of our product and which also was critical in becoming number one in the ranking. The logistic delivery service provider we chose was International Delivery Company, the IDC. And the reason we chose them was because of the delivery time. The delivery time was straight away. You order and you get your goods that same day. And the reliability was the add a four step for their reliability, which means we can rely on them to a larger extent. However, their service was the most expensive in all among all the delivery um, logistics service provider but it's really worth it using their service due to our business plan and careful management focus we're able to meet almost all our targets for instance for the first year our target with the target we set for achieve net profit was 8 million euro but we exceeded this target by far we came up with 100 over 157 million euro for the second year we set the target to be 10 million euro which was the highest and as you can see for 2022 we actually exceeded it we had one over 170 179 million euros for 2023 we have over 185 million euros as well as 2024 2025 and 2026 for the highest quality we set our target to be number one However, we were not able to meet this target for the first year because we misplaced our priority for the KPI. We set it wrong. We didn't put it where we were supposed to put it. We, our KPI then was solvency. Because of this, we were not able to meet the target for highest quality and also market leader in quality segment. After the first two years, we changed our KPI to highest quality. Then after then, you can see for 2022, we were able to come first we were able to achieve the first um achieve our target for that year 2022 was a little bit down but 2023 24 25 we were able to achieve this target 
The same thing goes for the market leader in quality segment. For the solvency, from the first year to the last year, we achieved this target and also exceeded it. The only place we had a little challenge was the employee's motivation. We actually set our target to be 100%. However, we're not able to meet this target due to some reasons, but we did our best because we motivated them by giving them bonuses, bonuses for meeting their target and also um, allowances, which is the normal thing for every organization to do, which we did our best. But for every year, we noticed that they were not satisfied. We also increased these bonus percentage and also all other incentives we gave them. That is why they were a little slight increase in the target from 68% to 90, 69, 70, 73, and 76 for 2025 and 2026 respectively. Thank you for listening.